We welcome you to Saturday Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. And here tonight from Morgantown, West Virginia, a great battle. Two teams inside the top ten as number six West Virginia plays host to number seven Oklahoma. Each team with just one loss. Neither team has lost so far in conference play. And it is a packed house here at WVU Coliseum. John Chambi, Fran Fraschilla, this is gonna be a lot of fun. You got two teams inside the top seven, and obviously both looking at the top spot in the league. But beyond that for tonight, Trey Young, a National Player of the Year candidate. He has been elite all year. And then you have one of the best defenders in the country in Javon Carter. It is a heavyweight matchup as these two will go head to head. Absolutely, John, and let's put Trey Young's start to his career in perspective. Five games over 30 already, but more impressively, six games of 25 points and 10 assists. That hasn't been done in a career in college basketball in two decades. He's been absolutely brilliant. But this guy wasn't recruited as heavily as Trey Young. Javon Carter, all he has done has become the heart and soul of this terrific West Virginia program. The senior going out with a bang. He does it on the defensive end one of the best in the country, and he's also putting points on the board. So Javon Kiner, the senior from Maywood, Illinois. And the first top 10 matchup in the conference of the season as we get ready to roll here in Morgantown. It's always a good atmosphere. Kids are back for classes starting on Monday. And so the students are here and in full effect and right over our shoulder. Bob Huggins. His team trying to continue its role in the Big 12. Tip is won by West Virginia. Carter controls and West Virginia in the grip. How do you defend Trey Young? You start first by making him play defense. And he'll get posted some today. There will also be a pinball in that motion offense of West Virginia. That's deflected as Carter retrieves. Shot clock under 10. And here goes Carter. Canate set the screen west from way downtown. And a rebound ripped away by Brady Maddock. Right off the bat, Javon Carter. He's denying Trey Young. He did not touch the ball in that possession. And right there, Christian James able to knock it down. And James shooting 42% from three. Well, how about this Oklahoma team? Last four games, John, they're shooting 53% behind the arm. Yeah, they shoot a lot of them. Canate, Latin may have bumped him. Instead, yeah, no, they get the foul. Kelly Self. On that call, number three, Kadeem Latin, his first. So Kadeem picks up his first. And Bob Huggins, his 11th year at his alma mater. 16 seasons, of course, at Cincinnati. He's been to the NCAA tournament eight times while at West Virginia. And recently nominated to the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame in December. Certainly heading to the Hall of Fame at some point in the future. Get that one, and yeah, we get ourselves a one-point game to get it started. West Virginia known for that pressure defense as they double-team, but Young was able to get rid of it in a hurry. Feed inside, oh, Latin oh. blocked by Canate, but Latin wow. put it back in. I'll tell you, what a clean block, and Kadeem Latin, the senior, good quick second jump. Perfect block shot. Yeah, really well done by Latin to be able to corral it and put it in. So Oklahoma with the early lead and a turnover. Let's take another look at the other end. Boy, Sax Canate, that's just something he does really well. Watch him get all ball right here. And then a quick jump by Kadeem Latin, the senior. Remember, Kadeem Latin started in the final four for Lon Kruger a couple of years ago. Looks like a double dribble right there. Latin couldn't finish with the dunk, thought he was fouled. Here's Miles. Miles splitting the defense and scoops it up in a hand. 
And now Young from deep, and he banks it in. Wow. <laughs> and then shrugs his shoulders. Well, it's been that kind of year for Trey Young. Carter gets inside. Kick out, Harris. And a rebound pulled down by James. These two guys are measuring each other right now. Young and Carter. That one stripped out of bounds, and it goes off a of Young. And it'll be West Virginia basketball. That's only, that's only about the hundredth time this year that Javon Carter has knocked the ball loose. He is the best defensive player in the country at knocking a ball loose like that. And he does it without fouling, more importantly. Three times the all-defensive team in the league, the Big 12's Defensive Player of the Year last year. As they post Young, get it into Miles, Manic comes to help. And it's out of bounds, it'll stay with West Virginia. One of the things you'll see out of West Virginia, we talked about it at the top, they're going to try to make uh, Trey Young play defense. He does not like to foul. They need him on the floor. Rebound pulled down there by Machi Bender. Carter can't hit, fight for the loose ball. It is physical early here in Morgantown. And Young gets fouled. And they get the foul on Javon Carter. That will be his first. Trey Young does a terrific job of initiating contact. Take a look now. And he, he's got the moves now, the flail of the arm. He just got to throw it up there. It's a good call, no question. But he also got past him there. I mean, that's what he initiated that's right. everything. It's that hesitation, and then he had the step on him. That's exactly right, John. What makes Trey Young so quick is the fact that he can shoot the three so well. Remember, I said they're measuring each other. And watch Young now, just trying to figure out the defensive uh, game plan. Jeff Hartness, Kelly Self going over. Bob Huggins lurking over there. John Higgins, our third official. Not exactly sure what they're looking at here. So early on, Oklahoma leading 8-4. Of course, the Sooners led by Lon Kruger. Kruger in his seventh year as the head man at Oklahoma. He's taken four different teams to the Sweet 16 further that's right five to the tournament and six different schools he's won 20 games or more going all the way back to Texas Pan American where he started his career in the early 80s 8-4 Sooners James handling here gives off man a quick release He's another of their prize freshmen from Oklahoma. They got two of them, not just Young, but Manic as well. And he's coming off 28-point performance against Oklahoma State, career high, John. Now he's got to shoot that, Javon Carter. He has not scored well in the last two games. Three on the way, and it's good. Well, that's a guy that can make some shots, Lamont West. And he's coming off a good game, had 19 against Kansas State for West Virginia. Their second field goal in eight possessions. Now the double team comes. Good eyes by Young. Inside. And a foul on West Virginia as Odoms went down. That's what we call great creative awareness by Trey Young. I think the surprising thing about the brilliance this year, as you see Odoms at the other end of the court, is his ability to find his teammates often throwing passes to teammates who don't even know they're open. Odom's a guy who gets to the line well, doesn't shoot it particularly well from the line. Let's watch that vision now. Trey Young's going to get double teamed, but he always knows where the other nine players are. 
You know what you love about this kid, Odoms? He only scored 35 points his freshman year. He only played in 18 games. And you know he guarded every day, right? Buddy Heald. Yep. yep. And Buddy Heald and Isaiah Cousins used to tell him, just wait your turn. Your day will come. And he's been a really valuable member of this team. Great defender. Gennate puts it on the floor. And out of bounds, John Higgins asking. And it's going to go the other way. It'll be Oklahoma basketball. 9-7 suitors early on. Bob Huggins was in the wrong coaching box. <laughs> that was a good call. Granate not batted it. He was the last to touch. Young gets rid of it to James into the front court. Almost a steal. Young fires. And that one a little short. And that's a tough shot. He's got to be. Bob Huggins would not mind if Trey Young shoots those shots all night long. Another turnover for West Virginia out of bounds, and it's her under 60 timeout. Back here at Morgan John John Chami and Fran Priscilla. And Oklahoma with the early two-point lead. Trey Young and the Sooners going on the road. This is one of the tougher environments in all the college basketball. And a pretty cool head-to-head -head matchup. As good an offensive player as you'll find in the game. And for the last three years prior to this one with the best defensive players, here's your tail of the tape. Carter, Young, head-to-head. -head. Yeah, and remember, it's not the points with Carter. It's the, it's not only the steals, it's the defense, the leadership. Bob Huggins called him out yesterday at practice, and he said, uh, well, maybe you're afraid of guarding Trey Young. Maybe you shouldn't guard Trey Young tomorrow. And that's exactly what Javon Carter thrives on. And he's done a really good job of taking the ball out of Trey Young's hand so far, but that's the dangerous part. Feed inside and a block there is Wesley Harris. He came for the help, but again, Young did a good job advancing the basketball. And... Good job of getting it out of that trap, and then there's the block. Good job so far by West Virginia defending the rim. Yeah, James traveled. Second turnover for the Sooners. Number seven, Oklahoma. Number six, West Virginia. Just getting started here. Patrick Bender checks Next in week, John, as uh, we see Kanate runs to the locker room, they'll get Issa Ahmad back in the lineup. Checking in for Oklahoma. He's been basically a two-year starter. And he'll be important because West Virginia has really not had a low-post offense. Their best post-up player so far this year have been guys like Teddy Allen, the freshman, Daxter Miles, and Lamont West. And so again, he's about next Saturday against Texas Tech. Miles hoists. That's off the mark. And Jamani McNeese rips down the board. That one pinballed around eventually and ends up with Young. That one way off. Carter pulls down the board. Mountaineers flip up ahead. Bender, ball fake, lays it in. Great look by Carter. Yes, sir. Bender ran the floor. Did a good job of locating that basketball in the air. Augusti, and his shot gets blocked, but they get the foul on Wesley Harris. Well, we talked about Trey Young's vision. How about Javon Carter? He wasn't top 20. He wasn't even top 20 in the state of Illinois when he came out. But a good look. We, we had that sensational game down in Orlando when they trailed West Virginia 17 with seven minutes to go against a good Missouri team. And just an amazing comeback fueled by Javon Carter. Yeah, it felt like he just willed his team to win. And they had that experience, West Virginia, with Miles and Carter, the most experienced backcourt of any Power Five conference team. And those guys already have 90 wins. And they're not even halfway through their senior year. They're likely to go well over 100 wins. And by my math, I'm not the brightest guy in the world, but that's 25 wins a year minimum. Gusty gets them both. Cameron McGusty, the sophomore from Texas, actually played his senior year at the same high school that produced Buddy Heal. Yep, Sunrise Christian in Wichita. 
Here's a little post up action. And he tried to get Miles posted. Miles steps back, can't hit. Tipped away, and I think they got, yeah, they did get Wesley Harris for another foul. That's his second. Well, fans, it's Super Tuesday at 7 Eastern. Number 11, Texas A&M battling number 17, Kentucky. That's in Rupp Arena, and then 13th ranked Boilermakers taking on Michigan at Chrysler Arena in Ann Arbor. The SEC Big Ten doubleheader on ESPN, also available on the ESPN app. If you want to, if you want to watch a guy who plays the game with great intensity, Tyler Davis, the center of the Aggies, tremendous, great afternoon today. McNeese able to put that one in. I'll tell you, the floor is really open, John, because they're spending so much time with Trey Young in the backboard that they're basically like on a hockey power play in the front. Court. Lamont West knocks that one down. We saw him in Orlando and he was in a serious shooting slump, but that has changed. Watch the open court that the Oklahoma's taken advantage of early. Manic thought about a three and he shoots it well. Now Lamont West, the third different West Virginia defender to guard Trey Young and we're only seven minutes in. Step back, that one off the mark. And it ends up in West Virginia. Here's Carter, now West. Gusty rebounds. Young on the move, slowing down. And then the feed inside. He picks up the loose ball and banks it in. Yep, Lamont West did a good job of getting a piece of that backdoor cut. Otherwise, it would have been a short two, but uh, Trey Young saw it, picked it up, put it in. Carter at three. And a rebound from Augusti, Oklahoma, with a three-point advantage. Augusti started 17 times last year. Step back three would go. You know this guy. Freshman <laughs> Allen, and he puts it. I mean, he is their version of Vinny Johnson, the microwave off the bench. Last game, he came on it at 22. I snuck over to Manhattan, Kansas last Monday. And he did it in 19 minutes. Blocked by Kanate. Miles Allen and the lay in. The difference in this game so far hasn't been guarding Trey Young, it's been defending the rim because Oklahoma is getting it deep, but Kanate particularly has put a lid on the basket. First lead of the game. And Oklahoma takes it right back. Cameron McGusty. James Bolden, Chase Harler, a couple guys who can shoot it, get accepted check in for West Virginia. Shot off the mark. Young rebounds. Young leading the country in both points per game and assists per game. And there's a steal. It's Carter. Allen. And he puts it in. I'll tell you what Bob Kruger is, is, is concerned about. He felt Trey Young was hand checked. But that's how Javon Carter's done it for four years. He's a relentless bulldog. That's a tough shot. James gets fouled. No. Right now, Javon Carter is in Trey Young's head. Take a look. There's the steal. He thought it was a foul. No call. And there's the finish at the other end. And then watch this defense. That's a chunk yard. West Virginia clawing back, and it's been Javon Carter harassing Trey Young. The best defensive guard in the country, in my opinion, is giving Trey Young a little bit of life in the Big 12. The deflection, then the steal, the easy basket. And John, this is a great lesson for a tremendous young player because he thought he was fouled. It looked like, in retrospect, there was no, there was no foul. But he's got to play through it. Juan Kruger's going to let him sit down. 
But it's going to be this way every night in this league. And this is as physical a team consistently as you're going to find in this league. That's they bring right. it that way. Yep. And, and, it, and quite frankly, he's not going to see the type of defense that Javon Carter can throw at him because he is to defense what Trey Young has been to offense this season in college basketball. Canate's done a great job protecting the rim. He's got four blocks already. His career high is six. Parler feel, feeds to Allen. Allen working on Freeman, and as they kick it out. Allen flips it inside, and they turn it over as James collects that one. Well, to your point on the block shots by Canate, in other games this year, they were layups for Oklahoma. I think they were even surprised by that. James Travel. For turnover on the Sooners. So Trey Young sits. Jordan Shepard will run the point for the time being. It'll be interesting for Lon Kruger's team how they fare in these stretches, in these big games, big conference games, without Trey Young in the court. Well, remember, Jordan Shepard was a starter at times last year. This guy's a bucket getter. He is a bucket getter. He scores like he breathes. He's not going to pass much. James from deep. Got it. Christian James, we told you, 42% from three. And, and they play this loose. Remember, Oklahoma is the third fastest team in the country. They only they shoot the ball every 13 seconds. So they're used to playing at that rate. Canate. Gusty rebounds. Jim Shepard here. James kicks out. Shepard gets into the paint over Harler. Shot short and contested well. Kanate tipped it. I think it hit the baseline, so it's out of bounds, and it'll be. Oklahoma basketball. So the reminder coming up on Monday on ESPN. Got the college football playoff national championship games presented by AT&T. All SEC affair. Alabama and Georgia at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. Yeah, Georgia came to media day today and they got in the bus and went 70 mile miles back to Athens. Young inside and the floater wouldn't go. James Bolden, he slipped during pregame warm-ups, appeared to injure his leg. Told me before the game he was okay, but the, the floor was slippery, mm -hmm. oh, and he was limping it. Oh, that last foul on Latin. You know one thing about James Bolden, he can shoot that ball. That's my last year at Oklahoma, he had 17 Your points in 10 minutes. So he's got that same microwave ability that Teddy Allen has. Huggins brings those two guys off the bench. See, I would try to make Trey Young defend. In fact, I would drive it on him because he's not going to foul John. Test the bold shot. That was short. McNeese the ball. And McNeese was stepping on the baseline. That turns it over. West Virginia basketball. Five turnovers for the Sooners. Choppy first half. Bolden catch and shoot. That's what he does. Yep. You can wake him up at 3 in the morning in a dead sleep. He will shoot that basketball. John Higgins and Daxter Miles having a little bit of a chat. Miles was trying to sell that Young was pushing off. Instead, they got Miles on that foul. And they're definitely harassing Trey Young. The danger is if you trap him too much in the backcourt, it opens up the floor for guys like Mugussi. They're back now in five on five. done a great job of keeping the ball out of Trey Young's hands. Young scoops it off the glass, but he 
absorbs the contact, so the foul on West Virginia. Two-point Mountaineers lead. Trey Young is leading the country in both points per game and assists per game. Wow. And Giovanni oh, McNeese, wow, wow. be careful. Bang your head on the rim. Bolden, little hesitation. As they move the basketball. Donate inside, jump hook. Miles tip, wouldn't go. Back out, Bolden from the elbow, that wouldn't go. And Freeman the rebound. Matt Freeman the sophomore from New Zealand. Augusti flips it up and in. He sure did. He got there. He got that ball up before Kanate could get into his jump. That was really well done. And again, the floor is open for Augusti because of the, the uh, all the help that they're giving on Trey Young. Watch out. Young on the go. That's a two. Freeman not able to hit. Carter pull up jumper. And I think Javon Carter's got to stay aggressive offensively. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball. All right, Kevin, thanks very much. And back here in Morgantown, John Chomby, Fran Fraschilla. Yeah, longest active win streaks in D1. Michigan State and these West Virginia Mountaineers, not to be outdone. Oklahoma as well. Well, how about Auburn this? as well. Yeah, how about this? Arizona lost today. That's their first loss in the United States this year. And West Virginia, who lost in Germany to a good AM team, has not lost in the United States this year. So that streak is alive, John. That's so uh, write that one down. Yep. First loss in the U.S. Oh. Kicks off to West. Manic got him. Uh, West dealing it a bit early on. Remember, he's a third-year junior. He redshirted. He's added about 40 pounds. He came to West Virginia when he was 17 years old. Young inside. Tried to throw it off the leg of a West Virginia player. Couldn't do it. And now Bolden grabs it. Timeout called, and then Bolden a little shove at Rashard Odoms. This is the education of Trey Young right now. This is a learning experience for the freshman. He is being harassed. He's the poodle among junkyard dogs right now. Back here, and Trey Young, what a season he's put together, but here, Tonight, he's gotten harassed. Oh, he has, and uh, it's been Javon Carter mainly. But uh, just a little bit of frustration setting in. You can see it. And uh, hey, listen, tonight's not going to change anything as far as him being the best player in the country so far. But this is a learning experience for a tremendous young player because he's going up against a team that has basically built their defense around stopping him. And that's what they've done. One of the things here tonight, transition points, 6-0 West Virginia. And for Trey Young, one of the things that he does so well, one of the really the themes of his success is they get out and move the ball, and he's so good in transition, and they don't have anything tonight that way. Exactly, John. He, they're averaging almost 96 points a game, and they got 27. And, and, that, and that's because they've... Uh, they throttled that fast break because they throttled Trey Young. Let's just take a look and see how they've gone about it. Let's just watch now. This is what he normally does with great vision. 
Look at the open court right now. He's counting defenders. Okay, he takes a look. He sees there's two defenders. There's there's three back, but there's two guys guarding him. And look at this space. That's been Oklahoma all year, playing in space. Tonight, he's uh, he's in midtown traffic, and he's and he's not comfortable right now. And credit West Virginia and Javon Carter. Carter, a little hesitation, picked up the dribble, gives to Miles. Another six to go, first half. West inside. Bender the throw down. Credit Lamont West. He's been the catalyst offensively. Lob and McNeese with an easy stuff. Twenty-nine apiece. Number seven, Oklahoma on the road, taking on number six. West Virginia. Believe they got McGusty with that last foul. Now watch Lamont West. We know he can make the three. And now he's putting it on the floor. And John, early in the year, he's had to play. And he's had to play a lot of four man and play around the basket. That's actually helped his game. But pretty soon he'll slide out to the three full time. And West able to knock it down again. Oh man. We've been talking about this kid a couple years now. Remember, he redshirted as a 17, 18 year old freshman. Young kick out, McGusty wide open and answers with a triple of his own. Well, and that looked like Trey Young right there. He had room to get into the paint, draw some defense, and then kick it out. See, I think Javon Carter's got to drive Trey Young. Carter fires a three, rattles it home. Those last two road games at Kansas State and Oklahoma State, Javon Carter was not looking to score. Augusti gets inside, and they get an offensive foul. Bolden stepped in and took the charge. Augusti turned the corner as he got past Carter. And good job by Bolden. As long as Augusti doesn't leave his feet, Bolden is allowed to have two feet on the floor facing the driver. There you go. Nice move. Uh, he's got to shoot that. Hits the baseline jumper. I'm with you, though. I mean, that was a point blank look. Well, listen, the one thing. Trey Young, does, he has to stay in the game for Oklahoma, so he's not going to pick up any fouls in the first half. So you got to make him play defense. Shepard kick to James. Three wouldn't go. Now Bolton to Carter. Carter. Then he gets fouled by Trey Young. Javon will be shooting when we return. Javon Carter starting to heat up. West Virginia, his biggest lead in five. Kev, Jay, and Seth coming up on the Land Rover Halftime Report. High drama around college basketball. All the fantastic finishes. Colorado takes down Arizona. Wait till you hear what Sean Miller said postgame. And in Jay, in our game, it's been a long first half for Trey Young. The thing you love about West Virginia, everybody in that team takes it personal. Like they're playing with that chip on their shoulder. I think the most important thing, you talk about that traffic, taking the ball out of Trey Young's hands, you stop him from scoring it. But just as important, you take away his playmaking ability. And that's why Oklahoma's struggling scoring. John, Fred, back to you guys. All right, fellas, look forward to hearing from you at the half. And of course, great freshman Trey Young leads the pack. Mark Bagley. The third, DeAndre Ayton with Arizona, and Colin Sexton, a guy maybe everyone hasn't heard about with Alabama. But yeah, still really good. All right, so what about this game as far as Trey Young? Because he's not a guy who's known for for defending. I well, guess. Well, here's why you want to make him play defense, John. It's a way to tire him out and slow him down. If Lincoln Riley had to play Baker Mayfield both ways, right, offense and defense, he would put him at free safety, 20 yards down the field, and say don't tackle anybody unless it's an emergency with Trey Young it's not to say that he can't play defense but when I watch tape of him all year 
He doesn't want to play defense in the first half because he knows he has to stay on the floor. So what you have to do is drive it at him, post him up, and try to wear him down when he's on defense so that it takes away a little bit of that energy he plays with on offense. So if I'm Javon Carter, keep taking it at Trey Young. Carter has the last seven West Virginia points. For Young, by the way, he's two for seven from the floor. Seven points, three assists. Voice one up. Yeah, that's, that's, go. that's just not a good shot. I don't care if he's uh, Trey Young, Steph Curry. That's just not a good shot. That's exactly what Javon Carter wants. And that's what you have to do. Drive the basketball. Nine straight from Javon Carter. He's broken a 32 all tie by himself. Too strong. Manic offensive rebound. Now it's on the floor. Bolden picks it up. That's it. Got out of bounds. And it'll stay with West Virginia. Carter went down the far. Now this is what we talked about with Carter is take it to Oklahoma. You see the challenge shot on one end. And then he's just going to attack. Go right to the basket. I talked to his AAU coach today, who I've known for a long time, and I said, Is Javon ready? He said, Coach, he was not heavily recruited. We played Chris Chioza, the young man who's a star at Florida, and I said, I don't think you can guard him. And we locked him up that day. Yesterday at practice, Bob Huggins said, I think you're afraid of Trey Young. And you and I have been around long enough to know this kid. That's exactly the kind of fuel for that young man's soul. Monte, offensive rebound, tries to put it back. Guess who? Offensive rebound. Carter to West. And Young the rebound. Young on the move, off the window. McNeese the follow. Remember, Jamani McNeese came here last year and had 14 points, then a career high. He likes playing in this building. But what an athlete. Another un unrecruited guy. You don't have to be in the top 100. Bolden, another catch and shoot. Young with the rebound. Young gathers it back in after losing it. Young took one right in the chops there. And they get the foul against West Virginia. I want you to go back and watch out Javon Carter. Look at how he takes away Trey Young's vision from the three-quarter court and stays with him the entire time, John. And there's those quick hands we talked about. Young coming in at 86% from the line. Can't hit. And the confidence is growing in West Virginia. There it is. What I tell you. Carter the blow by Bender. Wasn't able to secure the loose ball, but Carter does. And buries a three. Wow. Javon Carter having himself quite a first half. We were around today. We were wondering whether he would rise to the challenge. He's done it so many times. Young inside. Put back will go. It's a good lesson for Oklahoma. They still have 20 minutes. And a turnover as Young, his pass intercepted by West. West jumper off the bar. Going to go the other way. Has to get that one on Teddy Allen. We walked into this arena this morning, John. Who was all by himself shooting? Yeah, Javon Carter. He's got 14, five rebounds, and six assists so far. You, you asked him, you said, who are the toughest guys you've guarded in your four years? And he rattled off Frank Mason, Buddy Heal, Isaiah Taylor from Texas. And he also mentioned Juwan State and his former teammate. That's right, every day in practice. And
Carter a three. Rebound for Christian Doolittle. Manic has been quiet. A little strong with that one. Watch those hands. Trouble with the clock, I believe. All of a sudden, the clock just stopped. Point game, and Javon Carter has been a huge reason for the West Virginia lead, and it starts on the defensive end. Absolutely, he's he set the tone early in this game. He wanted the challenge. He's guarding arguably the best offensive player in the country, and what it's done, ironically enough, it's fueled him to the point where he's now out of that scoring slump yep. because he's been lights out, and he's held. The, look what he's done. He's held Young to three field goals. Four turnovers, John. This has been the guy who's been the talk of college basketball, and Javon Carter has come ready to play. A Carter, the NABC Defensive Player of the Year in the country last year, was the Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. He's been first team all defense in the league every year he's been in the league. I'm going to go out on a limb and say <laughs> it's going to be four straight years. I would agree. Already the career steals leader in West Virginia history. And again, under recruited. He had schools like Northern Illinois and Akron after him. Bob Huggins saw something about him. And obviously, the rest is history. Came from a really good program of Proviso East. And you go back to Doc Rivers and well, it's Michael Finley, D. I, Brown. Absolutely, and, and more that's more shocking because yeah. he was hidden in plain sight in, in a great program. Nobody in the Illinois, uh, Illinois didn't recruit him. Iowa. All right, so they figured it out. They missed about. They missed about five seconds, so it's down to 44 and 18. Shot clock and game clock. Eight-point West Virginia advantage. And it came to find James. on his way to a possible triple double he's got seven rebounds and six assists and 14 points to go along with it should be high ball screen here West from Carter and McNeese pulls it down Young at the buzzer. And West Virginia will take an eight point lead to the break. 44 36. Trey Young with nine points. Averaging over 29 on the season. Javon Carter, though, he's been the guy defensively. And offensively, 44-36. Time to send it to the studio. Kevin, Seth, and Jay. And yeah, we get ready for second half action. West Virginia in the lead, 44-36. Number seven and number six. We've had a good one so far tonight here in Morgantown. Hi, everybody. 
John Chambi alongside Fran Fraschilla. Javon Carter, Trey Young going head to head, and at least so far, Javon Carter has had the better of the matchup. Yes, I think you could say it's the education of Trey Young, but we shouldn't be surprised by what Javon Carter's doing because we've been watching this for four years. Watch how quick his hands are, John. He does it without foul, and he did that a number of times to Trey Young tonight. Really frustrated the freshman. And then what you've got to love if you're Bob Huggins is he shot himself out of a two game shooting slump with the 14 points and how about six assists to go along with them. Look at that leadership in the huddle. See Young three for 11 from the floor, only one three and more turnovers than assists. Is there anything that Lon Kruger can do to get Young better shots? Well, I think the first thing he did in the locker room is to calm him down and just say, hey, this is part of growing up as a great player. Second thing is he's got to go come find the ball more. And uh, I don't care if you're being denied or not. He's got to come seek the ball out. Odoms gets inside. Offensive rebound, Latin, and he gets fouled. One of the things we saw in the early part of the first oh, half oh, no, is when West Virginia denied Young, it created a lot more room for the other Oklahoma players to drive it. But if I'm Lon Kruger, I still want Trey Young as the catalyst of this offense. He's got to go get that basketball. Oklahoma as a team, 74% from the line. Latin on the season. And a good job, 71%. Makes one out of two. Javon Carter, the senior, he and Miles. And right now it's Odom's uh, Carter. And he'll try to slow Carter down some. West swoops in, put back, wouldn't go, rebound. For Christian James, and here's Young. I think the shot selection by Trey Young has got to get a little bit better the second half. He was trying to hoist some up that really didn't have much chance to go in. Odom slices through the defense and puts it in. That's right, because West was at midcourt denying Young. It's almost like a hockey four on four power play. There's more open court for those Oklahoma drivers to get to the basket. That's not how they've scored 96 points a game this year. Miles with Young on him. Harris couldn't hit. Kanate the rebound. Ball fake. Flips it up. Wouldn't go. And Sags will go to the line. Well, was written on Kadeem Latin. His third. Kadeem Latin picks up Sags number three. Coming up tonight after... Duke NC State on ESPN. Check out Sports Center. It'll break down Trey Young's performance here in Morgantown. We'll find out if Giannis made it 28 straight with 20 or more against Check the Wizards, plus a conversation with Nick Saban. Come on, say it. Adeta Kunbo. Giannis you know, Adeta Kunbo. What, you know what? He says it so many different ways. <laughs> no, like no. he says it multiple <laughs> ways. What a player he's turned out to be. What a draft pick by Milwaukee. John Hammond now down in Orlando. Well, it was a quick exit for Kadeem Latin because of that third foul. Yep. Jumani, Jumani McNeese was pretty good in that first half. They get Carter picking up the small change. Yep. And that's Bob it. Huggins it's saying to Jeff Hartness he traveled. That foul on Carter, by the way, his second. Wasn't much of contact either, but I'm sure a lot Kruger was in those officials' ears about the, the harassment Trey Young faced in the first half. Yep. Damn. That's a tough shot. That is long. Miles Dows, he's got James on him. Harris puts it on the floor. That will not count. Oklahoma final call to number one. Seven point West Virginia lead. Sooners had the lead for a good chunk of that first half, and then 
Carter broke a, a 32 all tie with a 9 0 run on his own. And West Virginia hasn't looked back. Bigger Odoms on Carter. Shot clock winding down. Hand off Miles. And Young up ahead of the pack. Young lays it in. Basketball Young. And that might get him going because that's the easiest basket he's gotten tonight. I saw him at TCU last week, John. He was breathtaking. 39, 14 assists. Trey Young with 11, leading the nation in both points per game and assists per game on the season. Bodum spinning. The bank wouldn't go. Manic fighting for it. Offensive rebound and a, a foul on the floor. Let's take a look now. Trey Young is in, in the scuffle right there, and he pushes it out ahead. And sometimes an easy basket like that can kind of, you know, allow you to just catch your breath and go, okay, it's going to be okay. Because he's had to earn the other nine points tonight. That's for sure. That last foul, by the way, on Wesley Harris. He's got four now. McNeese wide open inside. Puts it up and in. He's amazing. This kid barely played high school basketball at Allen High School in Dallas. And what a find he was for Ron Kruger and their staff. They redshirted him, but we always saw that athleticism, John. Allen. Shot wouldn't go. Manic the rebound. Trey Young on the go. Contested. And that foul on Carter, and that is Carter's third. Watch it. Well, we didn't see it from midcourt, but the change of speed right here. He changes his speed. I think Carter got all ball on that, John. Not sure where the official is aligned to see it, but that was one where I thought he got all ball. Going short on that free throw. What I do like about Trey Young in the first three minutes is he's calmed down. And I have no doubt that that coaching staff just settled to, and his teammates. We had a great talk with his teammates today. I remember them telling us, I we asked you, Money McNeese, how much confidence do you have in him? And he said, Hey, we give him the ball. We know he's going to make great decisions for us. Yeah, I don't sense that they begrudge him any of the attention he's got. No. Bolden knocks down a triple. And West Virginia back on top by five. That was a smart play by Bolden because on the shot fake, he didn't step into the two-point line. He slid along the three-point line to get the extra point. James and a travel. And that's a turnover. So West Virginia basketball. Watch this, John. When Bolden fakes Trey Young out of the play, he's not going to step in. He's going to slide along the line so he can still get the three. Really nicely done. Great footwork by the sophomore from Covington, Kentucky. Young steps in the lane, picks off the pass, lays it in. Trey Young with the deuce. And he's got 14. You can just see it in his face. He's calming down. Coliseum's quiet right now. Indeed, and West Virginia's gone over six minutes without a field goal. Shot clock under 10. Carter gets it back. Got to go to work. And the game off is too late. That won't count. Shot clock violation. And Oklahoma with a really good defensive possession. And, uh, and that's because Trey Young is starting to heat up a little bit, calming down, jumping passing lanes. We got a game. Back here in Morgantown and West Virginia leading this one by three. John Chomby and Fran Fraschilla. Yeah, that guy right there. <laughs> Fran Fraschilla. 
Oh, I got to get some pepperoni rolls before we leave town, John. You got to get that that giant fat head there. Is that a headshot? I don't know where they got that one from. They they, they captured your essence. Look at this. They got numbers. Young flips it up. McNeese tips it in. Oh, a little trickeration right there. They set up at the wrong end of the court. Sneaky, that Juan Kruger. <laughs> a one point game. Holding with the longer Odom's on him. Dante West hoists it up. Allen tracks it down. Allen spins and is a little short. And then Dante oh. over the back. John, let's go back and watch this inbounds play because look where all the bodies are. Everybody, if this is the old high school play. Absolutely. They set it up so that the ball is going to be, they, everybody thinks it's going to the front court when they were lined up in the back court. Yep. That guy in New York who's a head coach, Larry Burns at Collegiate, he used to run that play all the time. <laughs> Larry Burns, whose brother hired me at Manhattan College. Is that right? Bob, Bob Burns, Burns yeah. My dear friends, thank you for hiring me, Bob. Young. Oh, man. You know, I'm such a dummy. I just wanted to tell you, like, a minute ago, all he needs is to make one more deep three. Yeah. <laughs> and he just did. Uh -huh. I, but the, the demeanor's changed. Okay. You know, you can tell. Well, he's got 17 down. Bolden step back. And he's defending. See that? Credit that Oklahoma coaching staff, because you know they settled him down. West Virginia's got one field goal in over eight minutes. Young another. This one wouldn't fall. And that's what you have to live with if you're Lon Kruger, because he's so brilliant. And Teddy Buckets coast to coast. He is their offense off the bench. And now a foul on Bolden. Kelly Self with that call. Well, Trey Young, we talked about it. He was very frustrated in the first half. And that's one of those patented threes. And then right here now, he's only got one foul. So now he can start to defend a little bit harder. And you say, well, why won't he play defense for 40 minutes? Well, you'd be foolish if you were the Oklahoma coaching staff to want to get him in foul trouble. He's that important to the offense. Our eighth tie, 51 apiece. He's also on the court for most of the game. I mean, I got to figure it in tight Big 12 games, he's going to play 37, 38 minutes. As he drives it and gets fouled, and he'll go to the line. I mean, Carter with that great first half, he played all 20 minutes. That's right. And what you saw just now, watch how quick he is. And see, one of the reasons he's even quicker than you think is because he can shoot the ball from outside. Carter had to come out. And guess what? He's just picked up his fourth foul. So Javon Carter with his fourth foul. That is enormous. That coaching staff, you look at Chris Crutchfield over there. He's next to be a head coach. Kevin Kruger, who had an outstanding career at Arizona State. And UNLV for his dad. And Carlin Hartman, who's also an outstanding coach. And you know they talked to Trey at halftime. Canate looking for some help, doesn't find it, knocks down the jump. And they, uh, they dared him to shoot that ball, and he finally did. So now Miles on to Young. It's been Carter most of the night. Young off the mark. Miles has two fouls. I would drive him as opposed to trying to shoot that tough three. Trey Young, six for 17 from the floor, including two for 10 from three. And right now, Javon Carter on the bench with four fouls. Benate got a step on McNeese and flips it in. Yo, Great. good look, McGusty. Blocked by Karate. Blocked again. This time it was West.
Allen jumper. Wow. Teddy Buckets is going to score a lot of points here at Morgantown, folks. A 6-0 West Virginia run. Trey Young getting fouled. The fans don't like it. Well, Kanate, watch the footwork, really nicely done. Good pivoting, but remember in the first half, he shut the rim down. Can he do it again? A little less than 12 to go here in Morgantown, West Virginia by four. Javon Carter, Trey Young square it off of this one. Yeah, and it was Carter in the first half, no question about it. They, they frustrated Trey Young, but now Carter's got four. Trey Young has started to heat up, and more importantly, John, we talked about this at the very start of the second half. You could see the change in demeanor on the part of the freshman because he now has settled into understanding, hey, I'm in a rock fight, yep. okay? And, okay, got to play. Interestingly now, Miles has three fouls, and West Virginia already over the limit, closing in on a double bonus. Not good news for Bob Huggins. When I asked Bob Huggins who would be on Young in this game, the three guys he mentioned, Carter, Harris, Miles, four, four, and three fouls. Exactly. And he's very smart, Trey Young, about knowing how to use that body. Young down with 11 in the second half and 20 in the game. Now you laugh when people say he's not an athlete because what, what's athleticism? What's the definition? He just, he's quick of mind. He's a quick reactor. One thing that Lon Kruger went out of his way to tell me, he said, he's fast. Don't let yes, people tell you he's yes. not fast because he can win in a foot race. Yeah, we've seen that right in front of our eyes tonight a couple of times. Indeed. And they're spinning, had it stripped away. And I think Trey Young got that steal. Doolittle had a chance to throw it down, lost the handle, and couldn't dunk it. And West, that's a two. Well, he's picking up the slack tonight, Lamont West. Look at this. Wow. Classic West Virginia pressure. Yeah, and see, Miles has got three, so Trey Young's got to know that and come get the basketball. And they just got the foul on Trey Young. He was trying to screen from Augusti, and then a little too much contact. That's Trey Young. He's going to hug up against. They're going to switch this. And then look, he's got his hands extended. And when they got him for the foul, he had the hands extended. Frustrating night at times for Trey Young. Well, what you have to do in that situation is, and he's talking to the official, you have to come get the ball because Dexter Miles can't afford to pick up a fourth foul sure. by jostling with you. And yep. he's, Trey Young's got to understand that. Miles with Young on him. Bender feeds inside. And Allen, are they going to count the basket? They get the foul. No, that ball was going to be short. Let's go back to what we talked about earlier with no Issa Ahmad and no Elijah Megan and no Nathan Adrian. The post-up game for West Virginia this year has been particularly the guards, and Teddy Allen operates really nicely in there. Nathan Adrian here tonight. We get a chance to chat with him earlier. Well, this young man, Teddy Allen, he grew up in Mesa, Arizona, John. He spent the last two years at Boys Town High School in Nebraska and uh, was the M was the state MVP, basically. Yeah, player of the year, Gatorade yeah. player of the year. 30 points a game. And He's got a brother going to Utah, is that right? That's right, yep, younger brother. 
Young had it stripped away, and they call the foul. Oh, and the fans do not like it. We, we were screened off right here on the drive. Let's take a look now. Did you see the speed of Trey Young? Watch Beetle Bolt, put Beetle Bolden. I don't see it there. Let's watch. They got ball. James Bolton a little frustrated himself. Three misses tonight for Trey Young at the foul line. Says lane violation. Seven point advantage. Bob Huggins team on top. So the violation was on. Lamont West. Yes, it was. And Young will get another crack at it from the line. The only thing I can think of is he has his left hand in the lane. His hand is in the lane, yes. right? Yes. Trey Young tonight from the line, 8 out of 10. He's got 22. Make it 23, leading the nation at just a shade over 29 points per game, leading the nation at a shade over 10 assists per game. An incredible freshman year for Trey Young. He'll try to go inside again. He'll get a shot. Well, Super Tuesday at 7, you get number 11, Texas A&M. They get on number 17, Kentucky at Rupp, and then Purdue and Michigan from Chrysler, an SEC Big Ten doubleheader on ESPN, also available on the ESPN app. John Calipari starting five freshmen, the youngest team in the country. Texas A&M, of course, handed West Virginia a loss, first game of the year over in Germany, and West Virginia's won every game since. Oh, smart move by McGusty. He threw it into the backboard because uh, he knew Trey Young was still loitering in the back. I don't think the, the shot clock having some issues. And that ball was thrown in. What happened? It never reset, Johnny. Right. Oh, then it reset. And then it reset. And then it reset. Yeah, in the middle of it. So we've had ourselves some clock issues in this point. 10.06 to go from WVU Coliseum in Morgantown. It's been choppy at times. It has most certainly been physical. Javon Carter, a big part of the story, as in this one, he's got 14 points, seven assists, and seven rebounds. But he has spent most of the night covering Trey Young, and right now he's on the bench with four fouls. How long does he stay on the bench? As long as they have this lead, they'll try to get it down to seven, six, maybe five, but that changes if Oklahoma crawls back into this and ties it or goes up. Bob Huggins very comfortable with the guys on the floor. He plays 10 guys regularly, so everybody's been used to primetime roles throughout the year. Well, the Big 12 tonight, you got TCU and Kansas. It's the only conference with three teams in the AP Top 10. West Virginia, Oklahoma, and Kansas. Their road teams won eight of the first nine conference matchups, which is incredible. And second best win streak in the country is West Virginia, 13 to Michigan State, who's got 14. But we get a chance to see Texas Tech go in oh. to Kansas and come up with a huge win. The first ever win for the Red Raiders in Lawrence. That yep. was Tuesday night. And only this, I think it's the first time since 2006, 2007 that 
Bill Self suffered back two losses in Allen Fieldhouse. Uh, good hands. Young trying to feed McNeese and good work by Miles who gets inside. Shot contested. And now a fight for the loose ball. As Doolittle. Now watch Trey Young. He's possession arrow to the Mountaineers. Yeah, I'm sorry, John. He's trying to dish it, but uh, Daxter Miles smelled it out. Extra miles under 10 to go. And the Mountaineer lead is at six. That is a good scoring team for West Virginia with West and uh, Bolden and Allen. Good rebound there. Christian Doolittle who missed the fall semester. This is just his fourth game back. Remember how good he was last year. Off the glass and good. That's Christian Doolittle. So he picks up the bucket. He had 29 and 10 at Texas last year as a freshman. These are two really relatively young teams. Doolittle, by the way, that's his first two points of the year. Mm, third game, right? And a bucket. Kanate able to bury it. Well, they're, they're purposely backing off Kanate, and that's the second shot he's made. They're going to dare him. See, that's what you got to do if you're Trey Young. Come get it. Miles is not going to foul you. Out of bounds, and it's off Young. Now, remember the situation before. Now, that one looked like Miles got him on the arm, but uh, it's been that way all night. But that's where Trey Young's got to He's going to get a break right here and catch his breath. TV timeout coming at eight, so I don't expect him to be out too long. And then you have Javon Carter with four on the other bench. So 43 seconds of game time, and then the TV timeout, and Young likely back in. It's Virginia by six, Bolton. John Chabby Fran for Schiller here in Morgantown. Number seven and number six going head to head. Bolden. West. I'll tell you why. Foul on Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Now, that was about to be a good no call because the offensive player jumped in. But I think at the last minute, watch the defender come down on the arms and get the shot. Doolittle. His fourth game, John. Lamont West knocking that one down. West has had himself a nice game. He's got 14 points. I'll tell you, Fran Canate, 10 points, 10 rebounds, and five blocks. He's been a huge factor. Well, West, Canate, Bolden, these are sophomores. I think everybody expects West Virginia to be an old team because of the two senior guards, but seven sophomores and a freshman. And that'll go the other way as Bolden was able to sneak in and take the charge. And they get that foul on Jordan Shepard. Time out on the court. Mountaineers with the lead. ESPN exclusive in Alabama is a defensive coach and coordinator. He's going to try to join that list. They pretty much mirrored everything that Alabama does in terms of recruiting, process, program. Canate flips it up and in. You know, like that last graphic. There are five names on there, five first names. You had a Bear, a Dabo, a Jimbo, and a Kirby. Fire up a Mike, so, you know. Mike or John? Nick? Oh, Nick was on there. Nice. 
Good look inside and a chance for Latin, but he couldn't convert. That was one of very few times tonight that the big defender was caught out in space. Take a look. Watch how Kanate stays out there and he doesn't get back in time. And that allows Latin to roll to the rim. And that's been the bread and butter for Oklahoma this year. Pick and roll basketball with uh, Trey Young as the maestro. How does Oklahoma make a run to John, take over this game? They're so explosive that uh, they just need some stops and just get out in transition. A season I eight turnovers for Trey Young. And you got to credit the West Virginia defense. I mean, year in and year out, Bob Huggins has a team that brings it energy-wise. The philosophy is hardcore. And the last four years, including this one, he's had Javon Carter, one of the elite defenders in the country. Yeah, remember, he threw his team out of practice on Thursday. Didn't think they were focused and ready. West in and out, and a big rebound by Latin. Hey, another surprise. Oklahoma only has four fast break points tonight. They're averaging almost 96 points a game. James, and they get a foul, and that'll be on Lamont West. Foul is called on Lamont West. See, if I'm Trey Young right now, mm -hmm. Teddy Allen's guarding him. I just go get the basketball. They were, they were mixing it up a little bit, and that's what he's talking to the, uh, the official Kelly Self about. Teddy Allen can't guard him in the open court. Just go get the ball and drive it. Richard Owens checks in for the shooter. First conference top 10 matchup of the year in the Big 12. West, he's got James on him. Allen has been a big factor tonight. Puts it on the floor over Manic and oh. puts it in. Manic. He put Manic right in the basket with the ball. He is powerful. Yep. He's not going to shoot the three ball. That's not his game, but he is tremendous going to the rim. And an offensive foul. And that's a good call. Kenny Allen <laughs> likes to get the crowd going. Watch this. This is a freshman, folks. He just powers right through Brady Manic, and then he gets back on the other end. Watch him move his feet. He's legal, and that forces the push off. Ten point game, Mountaineers. Allen lost the footing, but gives it off to Kanate. And a travel. And remember, it's a ten point West Virginia advantage, and they've had Javon Carter on the bench with four fouls. Uh, and uh, the thing that we've seen from West Virginia over the last four years when they play 10 players, all of these guys are used to being in big moments, and they've expanded the lead, I believe, without Carter. And Young gets fouled by Miles. So now he's got. Yeah, he's got four. So you got. Harris with four, Carter with four, and Miles with four. And Carter's been on the bench for almost 10 minutes now. 10 minutes of game time. Which is about, I'd say about 18 minutes yeah. in real time. So he uh, hasn't broken a sweat. I think Hudson will do is he'll ride it out with Miles. I would say, um, if I'm coaching West Virginia, I'd say we get under five. I'd go back with Carter. Trey Young. Yeah, four misses, maybe? Five. Well, there's actually, it's three. He had one, and there was a lane bunch. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Well, Miles still out there with those four fouls. Shot clock under 10. Miles. 
Finds West inside. And West draws the contact. And Lamont goes to the line to shoot two. Seventy-one sixty-two. The Mountaineers on top. Lamont West. Well, what a player he's gonna be. Grew up in Cincinnati, migrated down to Atlanta, played at Miller Grove for a great coach, Charmin White. But he still wasn't heavily recruited, John. And uh, someone tipped Hugs and the staff off about him. When we saw him three years ago, Redshirt, he was probably a buck 75. Yep. One thing he could do was shoot it. And you look at his frame, and he's only a sophomore. Yeah, when he got on campus, I believe he was 17. Mm -hmm. Yes, he was. So he was even perfect. though he's redshirted and he's a sophomore, still very young. Here's Bolden chasing Young. Young flashing, feed inside, and Latin. He ends up getting fouled. Well, you see Trey in the open court. This is where he's dangerous, but West Virginia's done a really good job tonight. Uh, Filling back in transition, and that time they found Latin. When you look at the block shots tonight, heading up, heading up to the double digit mark. Wesley Harris checks in for Mount Gear. Dula for the Zoomers. You got Miles, you got West, Carter, and Harris. As well with four fouls. Bob Huggins and Javon Carter just had a really good conversation about Carter wanting to go back in. That should be an over and back right in front of us. It is. Indeed, it is. An over and back So West Virginia, four guys with four fouls. Watch Carter back up here. And you see. Uh, yeah, Bolden. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yep, Holden backs up. James reaches in and Holden Carter's goal. still a, still a spectator. Four with four fouls for the Mountaineers. Ten point game. Young lost the handle, but it deflects the Latin. I'm surprised he didn't shoot that one. He gets inside. Good spin at home. And Bolton able to grab it. Well, for one of these teams, this can be a really good win. Well, it's a great win for West Virginia because they protect home court. Because they're going to meet on Big Monday in early February in Norman. Yep. In this league, you have to win your home games. You're going to challenge for the league title. His third, that last foul on Odom's his third. And two shots, ten team fouls now on Oklahoma. Now both these teams have been hot. Remember, we told you at the outset, West Virginia, they lost in Germany. And they have won every game since 14 in a row for Lon Kruger's team a loss against Arkansas is their only blemish and they've won 10 straight. Unless we see Trey Young magic the West Virginia game plan tonight has been pretty impeccable. They to me they've really started to wear this young guy out. They started from the beginning they harassed him. And he may still end up with big numbers, John, but uh, they made him defend, and they've also really crowded the lane on him, and of course they've challenged him with good ball pressure. Kanate the jumper, got it! Sagaba Kanate has had himself quite a night. 14 points, 11 rebounds, and five blocks to go along with it. Young from deep. Young, man. Green. Timeout, Oklahoma. Timeout, Oklahoma. Under four to go here in this one, and an eight-point game. 
Trey Young right at his average with 29, but they made him earn it. Just eight for 20 from the floor. Yeah, indeed. I uh, think Kansas, the Jayhawks have their hands full tonight yeah, against right. TCU, but you're right. Trey Young and company knocking off TCU for their lone loss. Trey Young with 29. He's eight for 20 from the floor. Now you see the numbers now. Obviously more prolific on the Trey Young side, but Javon Carter set the tone for this game early with his outstanding defense. Carter really has had a tremendous game. Spent nearly a dozen minutes on the bench in game time with those four fouls, but he is back and trying to ice this victory for West Virginia. Feed inside, Allen off the glass and good. That's amazing. He is a lot to handle, really impressive. Yeah, but he's coming off that 22 points in the last game on the road at Kansas State. Little zone now, little 1-3-1. One, one. Inside and a bucket for Odoms. Oh, dangerous pass cross court to Wesley Harris. Well, remember this, John. West Virginia sees this pressure every day in practice, so it's going to be hard for Oklahoma to really do much with yeah. it. No doubt. And they're going to keep posting Teddy buckets. He wants to shoot it. Yeah, they don't want him to shoot it. Nope. They don't love when he shoots the three. Here's Young. Young going the other way, finds Odoms, and he puts it in. So now a six-point game, two and a half to go. If you're Oklahoma right now, you just need to be solid. This is still a possession game and not a comeback game, so they don't have to foul and play helter-skelter. But they must secure the defensive rebound if there's a miss. Mountaineers have gotten such a balanced offensive attack. Shot clock winding down. Carter weaves through and lays it in. Gorgeous move. There's the senior delivering in a huge spot. Yeah, put a little icing on the cake. And you see that 1 3 1 zone now. Just a different look for Oklahoma. Impressive thing for West Virginia tonight as they got the ball inside to Kanate and Allen. McNeese kick out. Young. Weaves inside and lost the handle. Good defense, West Virginia. Carter up ahead and Miles puts it in. Well, the two seniors connect in a great pass from Javon Carter. Out of bounds, but it'll stay with Oklahoma. Javon Carter wanted this matchup, John. We saw it this morning. He was the first guy in the gym. You don't doubt this guy going back to seventh grade. He's always had this mentality, and it's on display tonight. All right, look forward to that. Trey Young in Oklahoma right now in line to be handed their second loss of the year. Down by 10, 125 to go. John Chomby, Fran for Schilling here in Morgantown. And for Trey Young in this one, 29 points, but just five assists and eight turnovers. That's a season high. Yes, and uh, I would say that this is part of the education of Trey Young. This is not going to change the fact that he's been the most dynamic offensive player in the country. But uh, a little bit of a learning lesson for sure. That's goaltending. And that rematch, the great thing about the Big 12 with all the quality teams we have, John, is there are rematches. Double round robin, February 5th, Big Monday. Now the ears toss it up ahead to Allen. I got now, Miles gets it in the hands of Carter. I got a question for you. How good will West Virginia be when Issa Ahmad comes back next week? No question. Well, again, it'll be next Saturday at Texas Tech. There he is, two-year starter. He's played some of his best basketball against the Kansas Jayhawks. Kid from Cleveland. Hey, 
and a really good player. And obviously they have they have depth, so well, they do now. They're going to figure out how to sort out all these minutes. Uh, you got Teddy buckets. You got West coming into his own. Obviously Kanate. Bob Huggins has himself another really good team. And they're going to be good the next two years after this one. Young from deep, and that short. Kanate the rebound. That's 13 and a career high. Foul on Jamani McNeese. 101 to go. A nine point game. At the line for the Mountaineers, Zach Kanate. Two shots. This young man is the fifth brother to play college basketball. He's one of his older brothers. Bakari is a senior at Minnesota. Young man from Mali. Spent two years up at Kennedy Catholic, up in Sharon, PA. Hermitage, to be exact. I think of it as the Youngstown area. Young inside. Odoms gets fouled. You know, it's amazing. I, I, I still would. There, there are a lot of storylines here. I, I think that the balance scoring attack for West Virginia, you know, I'd still say, I mean, Javon Carter spent a good dozen minutes on the bench in the second half of foul trouble, and yet his first half offensive and defensive performance that allowed them to go to the break with an eight point lead, he had 14 at the half. And right now he's got 17 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. Well, and I think you'll agree he set the tone for the night with his defense. And, and quite frankly, he's been in a, you know, last two games he was three for 14 from the field. Come on, come on, come on. Was struggling to find the basket. He did that a little bit tonight, but the intensity of the defense to me set the tone for West Virginia. Now this young man. Mentioned Proviso East, Maywood, Illinois. Came here unrecruited, got to play right away as a freshman. He was here at the beginning of Press Virginia, John. But Bob Huggins changed the style, went to that frenetic pace. He and Daxter Mile, the seniors, are on pace now to go well over 100 wins in their career. And, you know, we watch these kids come through this league. We've seen them all Buddy Heald and Monte Morris. And you, you wish you could be at every senior night. And why do I say that? Because on senior night in this place, when they play, the place will just be both electric and yeah, in tears. No doubt. Because of the effort that guys like Miles and Carter, the roommates, they came in together and they're gonna leave as winners. And uh, so much fun to watch kids grow up, especially guys that weren't heavily recruited. Well, I got to do Nathan Adrian's senior night here <laughs> at Morgantown Zone, but that was pretty cool. Hometown hero. Yeah. Man. Yep. Coon hunting, fishing, Oklahoma foul told him yeah. three point shooting, pressing, fouling, hometown hero. No question. <laughs> now selling insurance. That's right. And by the, the way, ESPN, we hear he's pretty good on some of these local TV broadcasts. Yeah. Just to file it away. He'll be sending a resume real soon. You know, we were talking to both coaches today. You know, I, I forgot what day it was, and Ron Kruger reminded me it's January 6th. Right. We are two months of yeah. this in the Big 12. From the, yeah, two months <laughs> of the grind. Yeah, and then the tournament, but there's two more months. Yeah, two it's more just started. It's just started. Yeah. This felt like a Big 12 title game coming in. Is that zone? A little pass intercepted. quite a night and again Teddy Buckets electric offense in <laughs> he, limited minutes off the bench. Did you think he was going to pass that? No. <laughs> I mean none. No chance. That's a kick ball. Can't do that.
No, a very physical affair. Tough first half for Young. Acquitted himself nicely in the second half, finishing right at his average with 29. But I think it was that first half that they frustrated him. Yeah, right? no question. He was frustra frustrated, and uh, you know, things have gone really well for this young man. He's a great talent. To me, he's still the National Player of the Year frontrunner. And he'll be better for this as he wants to play at the next level, which he will. It gets a little harder than just Javon Carter every night. West Virginia is going to come away with the win. Javon Carter and company with an outstanding game. Allen leads the way with 20. Trey Young in the loss with 29 points. 14 in a row for West Virginia, 89-76, the final score. For Fran, for Schill and our entire crew, I'm John Chobby saying good night from Morgantown. West Virginia wins it at home. Big 12 basketball continues. Kansas underway with TCU.